Hello all and welcome to a new video. In this video we'll be looking at the new offering from Telmaride, the Phantom Spirit Evo, the latest addition to the Phantom Spirit family. And pit it against the Liquid Freezer 2, the 240 version, to see how it compares on the 7800X 3D, alongside the smaller version, the Phantom Spirit 120SE. Surely the Liquid Freezer 2 will win, right? Now let me show you what we have in the box. The packaging is more premium compared to the Peerless Assassin or the Phantom Spirit of Region 1. The content is the same, you have the two fans, the new ones with RGB, the K12 alongside the mounting brackets for the AM5 and 4 and the Intel, latest sockets and the heatsink. When it comes to papers inside, you have the installation guide and nothing more. With this new Phantom Spirit edition, Thelma Wright wanted to up the notch a bit on looks. Alongside the box, the CPU cooler looks better than the original version, at least to me. The dark tone of the CPU fans alongside the black heatsink improves the visual fidelity and makes the product seem premium, although the price doesn't make it. To me, the black version looks really cool. Let me know in the comments below if you like this look. And while you're there, consider subscribing to the channel. For testing, I use Formark to push the CPU to the max and after a 15 minute run using Hardware Info 64, I resetted all the readings and logged the next 10 minutes for comparisons. I did this 4 times for each CPU cooler at the same room temperature. In order to see the logs, I used generic log viewer, loaded one log for each CPU cooler and selected what I thought that are the most useful readings for this kind of comparison. Now, on the screen, the blue line represents the readings for one log recording for the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 to 40 AIO, the red line is for the Phantom Spirit 120 EVO and the green line is for the Phantom Spirit 120 SE. On the top left we have the temperature readings, on the top right we can see the fan speeds, on the bottom right we can see the core clocks and on the bottom left the CPU power readings. One thing to point out is the fan speeds of the coolers, with the Phantom Spirit 120 EVOS fans taking the lead with the highest speed while the Phantom Spirit 120 SC fans spin 600 RPM slower. Feel free to pause the video to have a better look at the readings. I will use the average temperature readings highlighted in yellow in the top left graph and display the average result from 4 logs for each CPU cooler at the same room temperature and display them in the chart. As we can see, the Phantom Spirit 120 EVO has better cooling capacity than the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 which is tied with the Phantom Spirit 120 SE. On another note, I will say that the Liquid Freezer enjoys a small lead when it comes to noise with the EVO version exhibiting a faint humming sound at around 1400 RPM. Cooling-wise though, air is at the same performance level as water when considering 240 AIOs. But what about equipping the Phantom Spirit 120 SE with the fan from the EVO version? What performance improvements are there? The green readings are for the EVO fans and we see a bit more than 0.2 degrees lower temperatures as highlighted in yellow. This means that the heatsink of the EVO is a bit better, maybe due to a bit more fins. Top mounted AIOs should suffer a bit when gaming, right? When it comes to gaming, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart, so let me know in the comments below which one is which and why. I will pin the response after a week. Now, things fall apart for the AIO when looking at the prices, as the Liquid Freezer 2 costs more than the EVO, which in turn costs more than the Phantom Spirit 120 version. So, if looks don't matter, I think that the latter is the best option when looking at the price to performance ratio. So, what does the EVO version bring to the table? For starters, it has a better looking package. Also, the dark look and the RGB fans that are quite tame to be honest set it apart from the usual Phantom Spirit family. We have a marginal performance improvement over the SE version but I doubt it can surpass the non-SE one. For this test I actually ordered the ARGB liquid freezer but the fans had some issue as these were too loud and underperforming. So I swapped them for the regular P12s. From a performance point of view, the 280 or above AIOs make more sense as the best air coolers are neck and neck with the 240 AIOs but can't compete with them when considering the Thermorite prices. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you in the next one.